What's up? I'm Anton and this is another GTA 5 video. Florence. Now, I'm not talking about someone's grandma. Oh, dearie. Hurricane Florence is a major category 4 hurricane, which right now has got its eye set for the Carolinas, and it is capable of doing this. And as a YouTuber who makes GTA 5 gaming videos, I wanted to show my support for the people of South and North Carolina who are about to get hit by this major hurricane and who are right now going through the motion of deciding do they need to evacuate, where do they need to go, etc, etc. Please, if you do live anywhere close to the path of the hurricane, check the description down below. There's some links there. Make sure you're reading everything from your local authorities. Figure out if you need to evacuate. There are some mandatory evacuation zones. Please get out. This is not a game. I mean, this right here is a game, but in real life, Hurricane Florence is a major life-threatening hurricane. So if you do live in the Carolinas, please stay safe get out out of the hurricane if you can and that's what I'm gonna do in the game like I said I wanted to show my support for what's happening down there or, or what will be happening down there very shortly so this is what we're gonna do in the game I put some mods here you can see the hurricane Florence uh, is coming soon um, it's definitely we're getting some cloud cover in the game you can see the dangerous surf that it's already generating here in uh, the world of GTA 5 there's some really really heavy waves down there and of course with our house being um, exposed like this to the hurricane we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to evacuate so that's what we're gonna do right now let's go <laughs> okay so the house has been boarded up for the most part we still have a couple windows left which we're gonna finish right now and then I'm gonna take my expensive cars I got a Dodge Challenger here which is that thing right over there looks really really cool and I got my of course my Mustang love the Mustang as well so there's no way I'm leaving these cars behind for Hurricane Florence I'm gonna take them with me and then we're gonna grab our family we're gonna go into this truck this is the trailer that we're of course we're gonna put the cars on and then we're going into the truck this is the Ford F-350 that we're gonna use to then pull the trailer and evacuate our family here ahead of Hurricane Florence um so as I mentioned first let's board up the remaining windows I took care of everything else, so we're gonna move these boards right over here. That should be good. There we go. This window's been boarded up, and then last set of windows right here. Oh, what's going on here with the boards? There we go. They're kind of misbehaving a little bit. Uh, there you go. That's fine. There you go. Like that. that not the best job in the world, but <laughs> I did such a good job on the other part of the house that mm, this right here. We're in a rush. We gotta get out. We have to get out. It's okay. <laughs> Look at this. This is pretty bad. Okay, if you're in the Carolinas and you're boarding up your house, please do a better job than that. <laughs> that is pretty bad. Okay, um, I think the rest of the house is all good to go. I'm just going to double check. Yep, this has all been boarded up. Let's take a look here on the side. That's all boarded up as well. This is boarded up also. All the windows. Hello, family. They're going to come with us. And uh, I think, yep, these have been boarded up as well. Okay, cool. Hopefully the house is still standing. After Hurricane Florence comes and it is coming. Look at that. It looks so bad there on the horizon. As soon as those clouds get darker and darker and darker, you know something bad is coming. And look at that surf. That is so dangerous. I can't believe there's still people out there like that guy on the uh, on the jet ski there. That's crazy. What are you doing? Okay. Speaking of doing, let's go ahead here and get our cars loaded. Because we have to go. Ramp is coming down. We're going to do the Mustang first because that's the one here facing directly towards the trailer. I love the Mustang. Looks really, really cool. Check out the lights here on this thing. As I start it up. First of all, how can you not love that sound? And the lights on it look absolutely amazing. I'll show you the interior as well. I love the glowing gauges too. And it's like recessed into the dashboard. Ah, oh, that looks really awesome. Hands are on the wheel, which is something that not a lot of models properly do. So that is a really cool car. Okay, let's get her up on the trailer. Oh, you can hear it just you can just hear the power of the Mustang to bet we're not going you know what maybe we should go for a spin can I take it for a little spin is this gonna be all here when I come back I don't know sometimes you step away and it's like things disappear all right I'm gonna risk it I'll take it for a little spin just for you just to show you what this car is capable of here oh, you can just hear the power all right let's go this way I'm gonna go down the street run a red light that's okay I mean look at this thing look how fast it goes. I wish I had my speedometer on. It's not on for some reason. Whoa, 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 whoa. That guy just lost it as well. 
Oh man, this is why I'm totally taking the Mustang with me. Just listen to that engine. I'm not leaving it behind. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 missed my house. Missed my, <laughs> missed my house. Sorry, house. Okay, we're gonna come back here. We're gonna back track here to the house. Looks like everything is still here, which is good. Let me go ahead and back her up right here. This is not typically my driveway, but just for the sake of that demonstration, I did decide to use this little patch of dirt as the driveway. Okay, so, oh, we gotta get the ramp re-extended back out. Let's get the ramp out again. So we can get the Mustang onto the trailer. Come on. No, not gonna work. Oh, I might have to get back into the car. Sometimes it does this weird thing where you have to get into the truck and have to re-initiate it before it works again. Alright, I think we should be okay now. Let's see here. Let's see if that works. Should be able to extend the ramp down. Yep, there it is. Boom, coming down, and we're going back into the Mustang. Let's get her up onto the trailer, get her tied down. We'll load up the Challenger, grab our family, and we are getting out of here. All right, here we go. Oh, I love the sound of that engine. All right, good, 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 good. I'm not going to be using the script here for the trailer to hook it up because, I don't know, it, it, watch out. It just doesn't really work properly, I find. So I'm going to hook her up manually with my trainer. Uh, let's go ahead and actually I gotta put this into the database first and then I should be able to just go in here like that Attachment option uh, Detach. Oh, nope. I did not select the Mustang. Let's try that again. There we go. Attachment option attach To the trailer. There we go. It is attached. It is ready to go. I think everything is gonna be great there. Okay Let's get out uh, Let's get out of here get out of here. What's going on? There we go. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? Why is it not working? All right. Mustang is on. It is ready to go. Let's do the next one. The next one is going to be the Dodge Challenger, which is sitting right here as well. And I'm going to go ahead and back her up here. Not going to take her for a spin because I feel like the game is going to do something weird. The game does not like trailers. And usually when you like step away for a second or you look the other way, the trailer goes all wonky and then the cars get thrown off. So we're not going to take this... Uh, car for a spin. We're just going to back her up, put her on top of the trailer, and uh, grab our family, and off we go. Oh, oh, she might need a bit of a push. She's very low. You can see there, there's like a um, splitter. Um, it's really hard to see, but there's a splitter there at the front, and you can see that's why it's having a bit of a difficulty trying to get up. I'm going to give it a bit of a push here with my trainer like that, just to get the wheels onto the ramp, and now we should be able to move her up. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's not hit the Mustang. Let's get close, but not hit it. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and attach her to the trailer. Like so. We're going to go ahead and attach her to... Uh, show hauler. There we go. Boom. Challenger is attached. Mustang is attached. Everything is ready to go. Let's get out of here. And I'm going to make sure that I turn the engine off. I think I forgot to do that on the Mustang. It's a little too late now. But let me just save this vehicle. That way I can hop out. And I should be able to go into my trainer because every time I get out of the car, the engine stays on. So I should be able to go in here and turn it off. There we go. Okay, cool. Close the ramp. Perfect. I'll, uh, I'm gonna go ahead here and get into my truck. Now, hopefully, hopefully this works because as soon as I go get the family, watch, it's all gonna go crazy. All right, I'm gonna actually release it here. There we go. So that way it doesn't try to update the position again. Okay, let's go grab the family. Do not go anywhere, trailer. Stay right there. I hope it will still be here. Stay right there. I think it's still there. I'm trying to listen to the engine if I can hear it. All right, family. Guys, we got to go. I got the cars loaded up. It is time for us to go. Let's go ahead and get these uh, to come with us, to get these family members here with us. Come on, guys. Everybody. I think I still hear the engine. Let's get in the vehicle. Let's get out of here. Goodbye, house. Hopefully you're still hey, here sorry. when when we come back after Hurricane Florence. Yeah, whew, everything is good. I was praying that the game would not freak out. Sometimes it freaks out. Oh, no, where are you going? Get in the truck. There we go. All right, let's get in the truck, everybody. We are getting out of here with our cars. Ramp is up. Cars are loaded. I should have probably moved them up a little bit higher, but that's okay. They're tied down. They're not going anywhere. Okay, you guys are all comfortable in there? Everybody's good? Yeah, you're good? I know, I'm sorry. We have to go. We we gotta go. You guys comfortable back there? Alright, got all your stuff? Got all your iPhones and everything? Look at the bright 
make visuals great again sometimes makes uh, all of the gauges and stuff really bright and you can see how bright it is here but it is a cool looking cockpit and i love 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 this dual mm, sunroof there it looks almost look like we, it's a convertible we don't have a roof but there is a roof there there's a glass roof on this f-350 okay house bye stay safe hopefully you're still here when we get back let's uh go ahead and uh get out of here i'm gonna try to make a turn out of our driveway oh. Let me zoom out a little bit so we can see where we're going. All right, there we go. Cars are loaded up. And we are heading to the interstate. And on our way out of Florence's path. Well, I've been driving for a while now. Traffic hasn't been too bad. It is building up a little bit here and there. It looks like we're getting stuck into it in another traffic jam. But so far, we're still going along the coast. So we're going to try to go a little bit north now. I think we got a checkpoint coming up. Whoa, a bit of an accident right there. Looks like that vehicle just smashed into the back. Yeah, I think we got a bit of a checkpoint or something like that coming up right here. Looks like you can see traffic is building up. Everybody trying to get out. Like I was saying earlier, very, very important that you do evacuate, especially if you're in one of those mandatory evacuation areas. All right, let's see if we can come through right here with our cars. I'm going to try to zoom back out. There we go. Oh yeah, it's starting to build up. North Carolina State Troopers here on scene. All right, we're stuck here at the lights. Actually, I got to make a left turn because we got to go up that way. So I'm going to see here if I can maybe make a uh, merge maybe after these cars. Oh man, these cars are pretty tight. All right, here we go. Oh, watch out coming through. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Not the best thing for me to do right now, but... As we try to come through this checkpoint, let me go back into first person like that. Stay in lane. I'm sorry. I did not stay in lane there. Very important that you cooperate and do what uh, the officers here tell you to do. You can see there's somebody in the camper van trying to get out as well. Yeah, there's no what's going on over there. Looks like they're a bit, maybe a little accident right there. Yeah. All right. We're definitely stuck. Sweet Jesus. Definitely stuck here. Looks like at these lights. Tons of cars. I don't know what's happening there. I think people are just freaking out. Everybody's just trying to get out. And there we go. We got more state troopers. Oh, red light. Okay, I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to stay right here. Yeah, this is just like... Oh, look at that. There's something going on with that truck. I mean, people are just, I think, stressed out. Everybody's just trying to get through here. Get out of Florence's way. Man, I can't make my turn now because... These guys are blocking the intersection. Oh boy, we're gonna have to maybe clear it manually if that truck is unable to get through. Looks like he's involved in some sort of an accident there. Quite a lot of traffic on the other side as well. Oh, this is just a big traffic jam. Now, what a huge traffic jam. There's traffic that is trying to get around this accident, but good luck. Boy, this is just right here. It's like a big choke point for everybody coming in all of these different directions and trying to get out of the way, out of Florence's way. All right, uh, yeah, I know it's a red light. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> look at this mess. This is just a mess. Just a mess here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this truck since they are... Oh, I can't even delete him. What? How is that? I can't even delete him. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay, then. <laughs> I, mean, I guess I'm not going that way. Look at the mess that this truck has now created here at this intersection. And for whatever reason, I wonder if maybe I can go into spooner mode like that i cannot delete him look at that it just will not allow me to select him whatsoever and neither is the other guy he's not selectable either i've never had that before i don't know what is going on but i am unable to uh, move these guys i can select anything hmm interesting very interesting well i guess we're not making that turn i <laughs> that is where i need to go i need to go onto this street right here but i cannot turn onto west eclipse boulevard um I'm, the cops should do something about this because this is very that's it. It's just this is very dangerous It's now Completely slow down movement through this intersection. I guess we're gonna have to go around That's all we can do. I wonder if I can just maybe turn around. It says no turning, but you know what? I'm gonna do a u-turn I'm gonna do a u-turn regardless right over here. Let's do our u-turn Maybe jump back into third-person view. There we go. I'll do my u-turn right here. There we go Oh looks like the game has cleared that truck Thank you, game. All you had to do was just look the other way. All right, we'll come through this way now. Watch out for the pedestrians here. That lady apparently is not concerned. Maybe she's one of the first responders out here to help out. 
But she does not seem to be concerned about the fact that there's a hurricane coming. All right, let's come through our cars right here. All right, there we go. Whew. And now we're slowly making our way away from the coast and away from Hurricane Florence, more importantly. And I'm pretty far inland now. We've been driving for a few hours. You can see what a difference here in the weather. Absolutely no. I mean, there's some clouds in the sky, but absolutely no Hurricane Florence here. So we're just arriving here at our shelter where we're going to be riding out the hurricane and staying for a few days until it passes then we'll go back home and i think it's going to be coming up here on our left hand side there we go we're going to pull in this is the motel i booked uh oh wow okay that mm, mm, that does not look good um okay um all right guys uh hang on all right i'm gonna go check in the office and see which room we're in uh at least the cars made it. Hey, you guys stay here. You guys want to come with me? Okay. Uh, this does not look good. Uh, what was that? Oh, I hear a cat. Um. Oh yeah, this. All right, family. This is our room. Uh. <laughs> you know what? It's better than Hurricane Florence. I'll take this over a hurricane any day. Hey, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you are in the path of the hurricane, please get out. Stay safe out there, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!